Hi everybody, this is Quotidian Light, AKA Maya Good, and I just wanna let you guys know what, what my next step is and where I'm heading from here. Um, tonight's gonna be a very long night. I'm getting the last of some work done and finishing up some projects because I need paychecks. Um, and then tomorrow I leave North Carolina. So where am I gonna go next? I've talked about going to Denver. I've considered going to Las Vegas, see my sister. She still has some of my stuff and most of it I'm gonna get rid of. And so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to Vegas before, but if not, I will definitely hitchhike out there after the writer's uh, retreat. So where I stand right now is I am about to embark on the longest leg of my hiking journey um, that I've done one thumb at a time. Uh, previously, I got to Florida from Texas in one fell swoop. This is not going to be the case getting out to Colorado. So I'm going to just take it and see what happens. I think I can make it. Um, when I look on Google, it looks like it's about 23 hours. And so I think I can get there in a week, maybe less if I'm lucky. And it'll be really interesting because it, it'll all be going through a bunch of states I've never seen before. And so I do want to explore as much as possible. Now, one thing that's really been holding back my exploring is how heavy my pack is. And yesterday I did a video on um, my bag audit. I did a really, really in-depth bag audit, got rid of a ton of stuff. And when I weighed my pack yesterday, I was at 29 pounds. Right now, I know for a fact I am lighter because I did something I swore I was never going to do. I opened up my pack and I listed every single item that was in my pack along with their weights. And when I say every item, I mean every single item, cases, little trinkets. The only times when I listed something like multiples is when they were so lightweight that my friend's kitchen scale wouldn't register it. So like um, my stitch markers for my knitting, those I had to do in one fell swoop um, because it just, they were too light. As a matter of fact, I may even get rid of them. And so after I listed every single item, I made some tough choices and I got rid of quite a few more things. And so on my way out of North Carolina, um, I will be mailing them to myself in New Orleans because most of, well, I will be mailing to myself the items that I will be selling when I get to New Orleans. The other items um, I have, I'm giving away. So there's not much. Um, there were some things that no one's gonna want. So I went ahead and tossed those. Um, like I had talked previously about saving, you know, I use a face wash that comes in a tube. It's like a push pop. You twist the bottom and the, and the tube comes up and you use it to wash your face. It has been great for travel. I ran out. I have multiples at my sister's house. And I was like, you know, maybe I'll get something different and I'll put it in the tube. I weighed the tube empty. The tube is almost two ounces on its own. So I tossed the tube. Um, I'm getting that like, not just how much the actual item weighs, but whatever it's in, how much does that weigh? Um, my Kindle, I got rid of my origami case and I just stuck it in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna keep it in my computer bag because it fits right next to my computer. And so things like that, like it's four ounces here and four ounces there, four ounces here. It ends up being almost two pounds that I dropped on my pack. And right now, if I include every single item I have, including clothes I'm wearing, um, which isn't what's gonna be on my back, because when I, when I get ready tomorrow, I'm gonna be wearing my heaviest jeans, which are just over a pound. I'm gonna be wearing my Royal Robins t-shirt because it's nice and cool. And that is probably, I think it's like 10 ounces or something. So, you know, I'm gonna have things on me, my jacket, my hat. So the things that, you know, are in my pack are less. And if I include everything, everything I own weighs 32 pounds. So yeah, once I get dressed, I'm, I'm probably at 28 pounds now. So, you know, I did that. I also, whoa, I'm getting a shadow, sorry about that. I also, wow, I'm just making a mess of things, aren't I? I forgot, it's the front facing camera. 
Um, <laughs> I also, on my spreadsheet, I added multiple sheets and I added a sheet for the things that I have in storage in New Orleans um, that I can remember. I have in a sheet for the things that I have at my sister's house that I can remember. And when I get there, I will list everything and then it'll make it easier for me to decide if I'm gonna donate something or sell something. And I made a list and I think this is the good thing because I still window shop. I was thinking about this yesterday because I, I was on Reddit in the minimalism forums and someone was talking about, you know, looking at computers online and constantly looking. And I window shop. I think it's enjoyable. I don't buy. I have like this, this Amazon cart that's in constant flux. It ever, never actually gets pressed by. But it's satisfying to look at things and research things and figure out details and things. And if I did this, what would it be like? And so... I made a list of considerations and so that I can list things that I like along with links, questions about those items, and a, and a column that says what it would replace. So like, um, I know I want to get rid of my yoga jacket. I love that jacket. It's comfortable and it's soft, but it makes a sh shitty mid-layer. It just is not warm and it's almost a pound. And so I would like, you know, once I go down one more size to pick up one of the super, super light Arc'teryx fleeces. And so for that, I put, you know, Patagonia yoga jacket. And then under considerations, I put, it's not very warm, but it's super comfortable if I'm doing yoga or running, should I keep it? And then what it would replace, you know, would be um, some sort of light fleece layer that would have it would have the ability to be used for yoga and stuff the way my yoga jacket is but it would be slightly warmer so that i could use it as a mid layer or as an by itself layer things i looked at from other companies that i like i'm like ooh, it's pretty considerations probably too heavy um so it just it's just something for me to keep in mind and i like having that calm that's to ask me what it would replace because then it takes it from oh I might buy it and then regret it and have to get rid of it to you know it's not perfect you know and so that's what I did and in the process I managed to get rid of about two more pounds of stuff most of it toiletries there are a few toiletries I want to pick up in Denver there is a store in Denver that carries a makeup line that I've been wanting to swatch for a really long time I think they have my holy grail red i'm not sure i want to test out the holy grail red and so i have in my considerations list certain things that if i love them and if they weigh under a certain amount i've given myself permission to buy those things my holy grail red lipstick and a really holy grail neutral are two things that I've given myself permission to buy if I get to Denver and I realize that the brand I'm curious about works really well for me. So that's where that is. It was really eye-opening. I thought that I had downgraded so much and there wasn't anything else I can get rid of. And then when I started actually weighing everything on a kitchen scale, suddenly all these little things started popping up. I was like, you know, I could get rid of this or I like this, but I don't need the case for it. Things like that. So that's what I did today. I'm excited about going to Denver. I'm nervous because this is going to be like the longest leg of this trip where I don't know anybody. Um, I was thinking about seeing Tamara, but she's got family stuff going on. So I'm not even going to ask because I know that she's got stuff she's dealing with. And so I literally don't know anybody between here and Denver and it's going to be all hitchhiking and I, I don't have a ride pre set up. And so I'm, I'm getting like those really exciting like travel nerves and I'm also starting to get really excited about where I'm going to go after the writer's residency. Um, there, Ariana is a longtime friend of mine. I met her online years ago when she was a young whippersnapper and I used to just drive her crazy. And now she's married and she has, you know, I mean, she's getting her doctorate and she's just awesome people. And it's like, you know, we've been friends for so long. I've never met her in person. I wanted to go to her wedding and I couldn't for financial reasons. So 
I think I'm, I'm going to try to hitchhike up there after the residency. And then I, instead of taking a train or a bus or something to upstate New York, I think I'm going to hitchhike to upstate New York. And that's where I'm going to meet another friend of mine that I've been friends with for ages. And I'm going to be staying in a tiny house in um, upstate New York for a couple months to work on my book. So I'm super excited about that. I think I'm going to hitchhike that leg, but... I took Amtrak ages ago from New Orleans to New York City, and it was so much fun. Part of me wants to take Amtrak and get a sleeper car. I don't know if I can swing it, but part of me really wants to. So I'll see what I can do on that, but it's getting exciting, you know, and I've downsized so much that now I'm getting anxious to get to Las Vegas so I can downsize what's at my sister's house. You know, there are some things I know I'm not going to get rid of, like the glass doll that I bought when my, for, when my kids were infants. I'm not going to get rid of that. Um, my mom's knife that her father made by hand. I'm not going to get rid of that. She um, painted some paintings that used to be in my room when I was young. I'm not getting rid of those. Those I will keep. I will store. Eventually, if I ever settle down, I will take them with me. If I don't, they will go to my kids. Um, things that I thought I would keep, I'm now realizing, no, I, I really don't have an interest in storing those items. Like I have a huge yarn collection. I love yarn. There's a couple yarns that are mid project. Those I'll keep. But where I'm at now, I'm not keeping a huge backlog of projects and stuff. I'm too busy. So if I know I'm going to knit something in particular, I will buy the yarn for that item, carry that project with me until it's done. And so I don't need the huge tub of super fancy yarn that's sitting in her closet. Now I do have a bunch of knitting needles. Now I want to get rid of all the ones that aren't my favorites. Um, knitting books. I'm realizing I don't need them. Um, I have some reference books. Do I need them? I can find reference anything online. I don't need the reference books. So I'm probably going to sell all of my knitting books, which has just kind of floored me because I'm like, wow, I never thought I would get to that point. I also have a ton of super, super nice designer jeans. And honestly, of them all, I'm probably going to keep three because I am losing weight. And I know that this time next year, I'm going to want them. They are literally my favorite jeans in the world. All the rest that I like, that I love, they're gonna go. I don't need them. My three jeans that are my absolute favorites, I will keep those. And then they're at three different sizes and as I get too small for one, I will have to get rid of it. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm just finding it really easy to release things, really easy to get rid of things. I'm super excited to go to Denver. Um, I would like to spend some time in the woods. Like that would just be awesome, spend some time in the woods. But I have a bunch of work projects and I'm kind of swamped at the moment. So I'm gonna see how much I can get done tonight. And if, you know, I don't like Starbucks coffee, but I gotta say for traveling when you gotta work, Starbucks is a godsend. I think if I can hit Starbucks in every major city between here and Denver, then by the time I get to Denver, I won't, I can be done with all my work and buy myself a couple days off so I can just go into the woods and chill. Um, everyone's gonna ask, am I gonna smoke in Denver? I'm not a big smoker, I'm not. Um, I'm super sensitive. Few people have seen me smoke. It's not necessarily a pretty light. Um, it's just, it's just not pretty. And so, no, I don't plan on it. I plan on going into the woods and meditating and writing some poetry for a couple days. And that's where I'm at right now. Until next time, ciao, before this gets way too long. I swear, I, I, I started this video and I thought, oh, I don't even know if I should do a video. I'm not gonna have enough to say and here it is 14 minutes later. <sighs> Classic quotidian light. Ciao.